<laughs> Hammered it. Good fish. Woo! It is what? 5.07 a.m., baby? Yeah. I'm I'm awake just knowing that like we're about to get out there at the crack of dawn. It's dark out we're still. Up before the sun. Huh? So we're up before the sun. That's damn right. We're out here, boys. I'm also waking up just fine knowing I caught a four and a half pound bass yesterday. Mm -hmm. So like I've got a nice little lead on that. But uh hey, one fish could change everything and he has two frogs. going on we back out on the freaking water it's insane out here literally like 6 10 you're definitely perfect. the first ones in the water you have perfect conditions it's foggy out here we'll see what that does with like top water action we switched the sd cards between our gopros so hopefully that fixed the problem it seems to have but yeah. we'll find out um but yeah two lures you got to use two lures you got to use it for 30 minutes each. and then after an hour we're done with the top water and you can switch to anything you want you 7 can, 10 you can switch to whatever you, you want you can use whatever you want it doesn't have to be top water anymore but feel free to stay at top that's facts yeah we you might want, want to you're killing at top to stay um all Looks right like i'm gonna have to get a five if i uh if i want to be in this yeah. all right guys um i think rj is gonna go back over the dam again so what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna go back and check out this canal back there see if i can um get anything done first 20 minutes i'll probably throw just the popping frog definitely not gonna throw that beaver two by four because that thing sucks but um um my phone's really low so i'm using rj's phone right now to record this but if i if i catch something i'll try to get as much footage as i can of it we'll see what we can do all right so matt is behind me now i took off he's exactly right i'm going back to the dam why would I not? I caught an, a four and a half pounder there, and I've heard of people catching giants. He's gonna fish that canal. I've fished it a couple times, and like I've caught fish back there, but not honestly anything too crazy. But uh, hopefully they're crunching. I'm so hyped to fish this corner. Oh my gosh, let's go. Fish on. Oh yeah, right in the corner. Oh buddy. Let's go. On the rat. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing crazy, but he will add to the bag. None to less. Let's go. Right in the corner. Check it out, baby. On the rat. It's a big bait for this guy. Oh, yeah. Look at the homie on the freaking rat. Right in the corner. He, like, missed it, I guess, too. All right. The old scale wasn't working. I think Matt will agree. We can probably, we'll call 1.3. It's a solid little Jimmy. He's got a nice little stomach, but he nailed the rat. Let's keep fishing. Still got plenty of the dam left. Let's let this guy back. All right, thanks for the, the tug, brother. Ooh, hit me a little splash. <laughs> Same spot, little guy, but we'll take him. <laughs> right literally first cast after that first one. Oh, let's go let's freaking go look how little this fish is all right baby literally the next cast same exact spot in this corner um he hit a little past the shrubs of the rocks look how small this is and he drilled a rat lure here's a good comparison that's the rat lure that's the bass um and he hit it but so basically hey at least we got three bass now we're we'll count this guy as half a pound he's very tiny um but, uh, but yeah, the scale's not working because it's wet. So we'll see what happens. But thanks for the little fight, Jimmy. Another one, little guy. It's been catching the little, the little boys this morning. All right, he's better than my halfer. Replace me with the pounder. All right, another little Jimmy. We'll call him, he'll replace my 0.5, we'll call him 0.8, or maybe 
if Matt agrees, we can call this one and the other bigger one two pounds total. I think that sounds about right. The little guys are crushing this big rat. I just need a big guy to crush it. Um, they're hitting it well, so that gives me hope for bigger fish. But I'm also wondering what Matt's up to over there because uh, if I'm if I'm hooking up, who knows if he is. He's not called me. If he catches a big one, he would for the, the scale that's not working. But So I don't think he's caught anything big, but maybe he's caught some twos and stuff, and that would make stuff interesting. So we'll see. Forgot, but I do have to go back to the bat for 20 minutes, so I'm throwing this thing on. I totally almost forgot, but hey, we're throwing them on for the last 20. See what happens. The trusty bat from last night. Seven, it's like 7:15, so the top water challenge is officially over. Now, still 1v1. We can use whatever we want now. So, you know, and this whole time, I'm sure we've both been wondering. Well, I wonder if I, you know, could throw whatever I wanted. So we're gonna find out. I'm gonna finish fishing these pads with the frog. Fish it pretty thoroughly because I know there's some fish back here. And uh, we'll see what the frog does. And if that gets no bites, I'll probably go fish the rocks with the saucy swimmer. And then I got okay. I just got this little danker right over there on the frog. The GoPro wasn't recording because our just stupid SD card doesn't work. But, I mean, he's nowhere close to five or where I need to be. But he's something. He's a little start. So we'll keep going. See if we can get more back there. So, uh. Matt, you, you got one, huh? Yeah, I got one over there in the canal. Um, well, yeah, what happened with the, you said you didn't get the footage? The stupid SD card wasn't working. Coolest blow up I've seen. I have a picture of the bass, was probably pound, maybe a little more. Um, he fully came airborne out of the water like it was a tarpon bite. Like it was, I've never seen a bass do that before. That's sick. Um, and it yet. Was, it was such a, it was just super cool. Yeah. RJ's bragging me that he got three off the bank here this morning. Yeah, Matt tried to fish my spot after I already pulled off some fish off of it. Got him. Oh, that was the coolest thing. Oh, son of a gun. Lost a little guy, but that was cool. And I was just thinking about going topwater again, but gotta stick with it now. That was pretty cool, though. <laughs> Bro, spit me. <laughs> Hammered it. Good fish. Solid fish for sure. Solid fish. Let's go. Oh, that was sick. On the bat, dude. First cast with the bat. The bat strikes again. Call me Batman, bro. <laughs> Solid fish. Day's been slow and I tie on the bat. Literally first cast. I was like, alright, this looks too good. It was just like shaded area over here along the bank and he freaking hammered it oh maybe i should have been staying with the freaking bat dude challenge is over and i tied it back on but like a nice healthy fish like i don't know one and a half pounder nothing crazy but oh my gosh maybe i mean maybe a little more but let's go i'm putting matt in the grave now i think i think he's still only got one fish so i, lo I love it oh the bat call me batman baby the true look of defeat there it is all right, it is 10.30. The 1v1 is officially over. Um, it definitely slowed down, don't you think, after uh, after the first couple hours this morning? Yeah, definitely. But uh, no, so... Definitely today was way better than last night. For you, it was. Well, for both of us. I, no, I, it, we got more bites, to be fair, though. I mean, I don't know. I caught a bigger fish last night, so it's... But no, so I ended up catching three on the rat th this morning one on the bat this morning and the big one uh in the evening so and he and what all do you catch on i got one on the whopper and then one on the frog so if you're wondering i did win matt go jump in the lake i'm I just let kidding him, i let him run down to the to oh the rock yeah spot. yeah I, I yeah didn't you didn't think it was gonna be you fished it once you fished it once i fished it once after i fished after it. you did but uh anyway um the bat lure i would have never thrown this thing if it wasn't for this challenge it's sweet. It's literally like a walking bait. 
and it just it just walks and the wings come out of the water it's really sweet but honestly if it wasn't for the top water challenge i don't know how well we would have done i lost one fish on a crack and crawl you didn't get any bites on the bottom get anything on the bottom top any water bites. top water was the only top water was the key all. and uh i wasn't a big fan of the turtle lure the problem with the bat is it's going to go through the muck. You can't throw it in like lily pads. It picks stuff up. That being said, the action's amazing. Amazing. So it's kind of like pick your poison. Same with the rat. It gets weeds, but I do love the action. So it's kind of a fine line. Um, anyway, though, I am so mad I missed the one big blow up. I apologize. Still subscribe. Check out other videos. But uh, And he missed the one on his <laughs> yeah. GoPro. The SD card killed us. My phone was dead on my second <laughs> fish. I don't even have a picture for it. Uh, but... Uh, but hey, at the end of the day, awesome freaking challenge. Like, yeah, it was, fun. It was a lot time. of fun. Good times, camping in the truck and everything. And like I said, like, I mean, hell, I almost caught a five pound bass, which is hype, especially in Ohio. And then, I mean, ended up catching five awesome, like, you know, cool fish on blow ups. But once again, we just got out on the lake. But uh, anyway, like, subscribe, comment, comment what you think about these crazy lures. But uh, we'll check you guys. Oh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. video this time all right let's get on the water let's freaking go it's early with the first one let's slam them let's go <laughs> the idea of